Uh, when we embrace vulnerability, uh, it allows us to play up our strengths, and it allows us to move forward not blindly. We know where we're weak, and we're able to work on that. Uh, so when we move forward blindly, it might, from the outside, look courageous. Uh, but if we haven't embraced our vulnerability, we're going to actually be moving forward with arrogance and possibly walking right into massive holes that could have been uh, avoided if only we had actually embraced our vulnerability. Um, so in general, this just is going to strengthen our team. It's going to, when, when you step forward as a courageous leader and embrace your vulnerability, you're also opening that space for everyone else on your team to do the same. And it creates the cycle of the entire team being able to hold each other, support each other, and uplift each other. It's, it's really amazing when it happens. Um, so just how this actually can play out in team dynamics, I just wanted to go through uh, a few things that are often portrayed as traits of a courageous leader. Um, but they actually all tie into this idea of embracing vulnerability. So one is that we lean on each other. We understand that we don't know everything. We understand that other people on the team are going to have experiences that we can't even dream of. We're going to understand that they have expertise that we may not be able to get in the next one or five or 10 years. Uh, and when we lean on each other and allow others uh, to, uh, to lean on, uh, on us as well, uh, we're encouraging people to step up with their expertise, uh, which is only going to strengthen the team. Uh, another really difficult thing that, or that requires vulnerability is the idea that we have to face difficult facts sometimes. So sometimes you're going to have a really bad, bad quarter or a really bad year. There's going to be some change in the marketplace that makes it a lot more difficult for your co-op to operate. And if you put up a blind spot, if you step back from that vulnerability, it's going to be that hole that you walk right into eventually. But if you actually are able to look at these difficult facts, address them with the team, then you can actually move forward. You can identify those, those weaknesses and use your strengths to overcome them. And I just want to leave everyone on the note that, again, we all are vulnerable. So regardless of where you are in your organization, what role you play, being able to tap into and embrace your vulnerability is this access road for every one of us to step into a role of courageous leadership.